Hey everybody, Reef Girl here, and welcome to the first ever top-down tour of Crazy Town Reef. It can be really difficult to get good views of coral for video. That's something I'm learning from the size and shape of this tank. So some of the corals in this video will be things I've never been able to show you before, such as this Turbinaria peltata, cup coral, scroll coral, pagoda coral. Usually I can only see it from the side and it's really hard to see the polyps. Moving along over here, I want to show you my Goniopora garden. I have three. This beautiful little pinky, orangey with yellow, really nice. I've had it for about 10 months and it's finally starting to look really good. I think it likes this spot. Coming up next is a rescue. I bought this as a frag. It grew to a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Then it started dying back. This is what has come back from three polyps that we rescued a couple months ago. Now the pink one, this is the one that tried to kill me. And since I put it here, it has doubled in size. This obviously is a really good spot for Ghanis. While we cruise on over to what's next, I'd like to remind you of this week's live stream. I hope you'll join me on YouTube Saturday, August the 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern. I've shown you this before from the side. It's a piece of rock from the Red Sea tank. But the star of the show, as far as I'm concerned, is this. See those two green polyps? This is a color morph of Reef Tech Starburst Montipora. I've had it for about three years and I can hardly wait to see it grown out. It's already starting to encrust and scroll. Getting back to the live stream for a moment, it's always more fun when we have live guests in the studio and it's easy to join live. Just drop me an email at reefgirl at gmail.com and ask for the link. I'll send it out to you and all you need to do is click on it. No app, no account, no passwords, you'll be in. Okay, let's hop over to the other side of the tank for a moment so I can show you a few more things. Here's my lemon spice favia colony. And drum roll please, the first look at my SPS corals. I've never been able to show you these before. I don't know what this one is, but it sure is pretty. It's developing some orange. The next one was sold to me as an Anacropora. It split in two when I tried to put it on the rock and both pieces are doing extremely well. I'm loving the polyp extension on this thing right now. Coming up is a golden jaw dropper. This is one of the corals I was entrusted with for banking purposes. In the six weeks I've had it, the color is starting to develop back to what it should be and it's starting to base out. Next two are a pink Cadillac and a Millipora. I should mention, I can't see what I'm recording at this point when I'm operating the camera above the water. I have it in a viewing box and I can only pause where I think I've got a good shot of some of these corals. This Millipora, I did a not bad job of getting a really good long look at it, but the pink Cadillac just zoomed by. So I'll bring you back to that one so we can take a closer look. All of these SPS have been up here on the rocks for about six weeks. And check it out, the pink Cadillac is already starting to base out. I didn't realize until after I looked at the video that the urchin is up here. I think he's trying to grab this Millipora. I hope he doesn't succeed in pulling it off the rocks because it was a pain in the neck to get it there. I was told this little guy is called Candlelight and you can see some pretty good polyp extension on here. It's about doubled in size in the six weeks I've had it. And then we have another what I was told is Anacropora, but I'm not sure now that I see it close up. It's doing well though. And here is a frag of Narnia, one of my all-time favorite Acropora. I had a piece of this in my Red Sea tank that grew to a really large colony and I lost it. So I'm super thrilled to have it back. And here is a golden nugget. The color is developing nicely. The lighting here is some blue, but not a whole lot. 
and I'm using the Orfec glass lens filters. Here's another view of the golden jawdropper and you would have just seen the pink Cadillac down in the right. Earlier in the day, under more white light, I captured this short video. And I didn't realize until I looked at the footage that this includes something that wasn't in the longer video shot under blues. Check it out. It's the F-Flow. It actually is starting to develop yellow. All the screen should be yellow. And when I first got it, it was. But within a few days, as often happens, it turned green. So now I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping that these, both of them, right and left, go bright yellow like they're supposed to be. So overall, the SPS up here, I'm satisfied that they're doing well. I wasn't expecting to see what I've seen in this video with the bright colors and the basing out. So that's a bonus. Moving towards the front on the right side of the tank, here are a couple of things with a good view of the colors. Beautiful chalice, and there's my branching Cyphastria. This thing was in rough shape when I put it in here. It is really doing well now. There's another little chalice that I moved to get more light. Some zoanthids there. Of course, the Gorgonian in all its glory up near the water surface. The coralline algae is really developing nicely. And there's another little turban area at the top. More zoanthids. Just starting to see some bumps on the forest fire digitata rescue frag. Coming up is a view of the blue staghorn, which is really hard to see because of the color and the position, but it is really growing. Please enjoy this little diversion from the in progress top down so I can show you a little more of the blue staghorn. When I got this, the top half inch RTN'd overnight in my tank and I had to cut it off to save it. Luckily, it's starting to heal really well. And to my amazement, the branches are growing really quickly. These actually face the back so you can only see it from the side. I can hardly wait until this thing starts to really take off in growth. This is a bubblegum digitata. This was a rescue frag, the last piece I saved from the colony I used to have. And then here's the weird and wild and wonderful encrusting Montipora, neon green. It has got the strangest growth pattern and I'm just gonna leave it here. It forms a little cave for the fish to sleep in. A weepy toadstool that I've just placed temporarily. And here's the arch. Mushrooms, utter chaos, war coral. And then at the other end, I have a small patch on the very, very bottom front of Leptocerus. Oh, and we can't forget the neon green goniastria that I used to call E.T. I took both of my blastomusas and put them up on pieces of rock to get them off the sand and give them some space to grow. They're doing well. This is just a temporary location though. It's a little too much light. Getting over into the maize brain garden. This is my original one. Love it. Doubled in size in five years. This is an Oolophilia crispa. The colors on it are amazing. Blue, green, kind of a grayish green, yellow. Really, really love this thing. And here are a couple of other maize brains that I haven't yet got species names for, but the colors are lovely. Here's a gold Samacora that I'm really hoping will encrust over this entire rock. I think that would be an awesome jolt of color. And there's my new red maize brain. Decided to put it here and just see how it does. By the way, the tentacles at night are red. And this purple and green platagyra came as a freebie on a coral order five years ago. These things are slow growing, but with patience, they're very rewarding. There's a payoff. You can see there my Jingle Bell Cyphastria, and here are the last two maize brains. The one on the left is not doing well. I have to keep an eye on it. 
a quick look at my Jason Fox Freak hair on the left, and my husband calls this torch Black Soul. I'm sure there's another name for it, or maybe several. If so, I don't know what they are. And my branching GSP, you can see on the left the shape of the branch. It's a tube. And look at this. It's a really good shot of why my husband calls this Black Soul. I guess you could call it Dark Heart. Or who knows? <laughs> I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. A little bit longer look at the freak hair. And that is an Astriopora, the green and gray. Here is another torch that I have. I have three all together. This one's on the far left. The blue tips are really pretty. And just beside that is my Devil's Eye Chalice. Here's a little bit more top down of the rock with the Leptoceris on it. There is a Symphilia, Ozelia, another shot of the Turban area, and there's my other Forest Fire Digitata. This thing is going nuts. It really likes that spot, I guess. There's Seasons, Greetings, Montipora. I have two of them. And a Marble Favia. Growing much better now that I've reoriented it to get more light. There is one of my Cinerinas. Ah, too much flow. I have to do something about that. And then my other little orange Cinerina down here. It seems to like where it is, so... I'm not sure how I'm going to address that big one getting battered. Here's my gorgeous green marble trachophilia, a green favia, and I have an acan here that's a little bit different from most I've ever seen. I turned the flow off to give you an idea what the polyps actually look like on this scroll coral when they're not moving. They're so big and fluffy. And looking at this monster plate coral in only the flow from the return nozzles, look at this. It's a chance to actually see the oral disc. I think it's really pretty with its stripes. This little guy was sold to me as a pinstripe blastomusa. I love how well it's doing. Here's the Raja Rampage. Started with three eyes, now has seven. I couldn't really get top-down views of my Euphilia garden because of the location of the Eurobrace in this back corner. So here you go. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't already, think about subscribing to my channel. I have a lot more going on and a lot more to come. And if you have time and you're interested, I really hope to see you Saturday night on the live stream. Don't think what you have to offer isn't of interest to everybody else, because really, it is. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, everybody.